so you have a collection of Japanese Famicom games, and you only have an American NES. Well, this is a sh video tutorial on how to play um, your yeah. Japanese Famicom games on your American NES. Hey guys, what's up? This is Tama. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been kind of busy and didn't have any ideas. So today we're going to be looking up how to play your Nintendo Famicom games on your Nintendo Entertainment System. So what you're going to need is a black box NES game that has five screws, no tabs on the top. On the bottom, if you look, I don't know if I can get it to focus though. There, but oh, yeah. let's try this. If you look, the tabs on the pins are on a different side than the regular. Oh, I can't get are on the other side, and then the uh, NES games, which are in the middle, like so. On Castlevania, what you're gonna do with your black box game with five screws. Tabs on the left, no tabs up here. Is you wanna unscrew the five screws there. I already did that. Pull open the back cover. Don't have to worry about any tabs and stuff. And there's supposed to be two screws right there. You have to unscrew those. Then not take off this. And here you go. You got a Famicom converter. Now how this works is you just take off the top part. Uh, circuit board, which in this case is a copy of Pinball for the Famicom, and right here you have a the this piece. So now your Famicom games are not going to fit in here. So if you look, this tab, those two tabs will get will get in the way. So there's two options to get to do this. One, you can get rid of the little things, or two, you could just do what everybody else probably does. Take that apart, and then put this on like that. So the front part has the little chip, and the, I don't know what that really is. Um, so then what you're going to do is going to take your Panacon game, we have Ramonica Dragon Slayer 3. Which is a really hard game. And you're gonna wanna just take this. Oh, this is hard to do one handed. Is just go like this. Put it in. And there you go. Famicom converter in your NES cartridge. If you're using the Model 1 NES like I am. It's not going to be too easy to get the converter actually out of there. So what you want to do is get like a wire or some string or something and kind of bend it around. I kind of had to take mine out to do this video. Um, and then just kind of turn it around like that. And So it took me a little bit to put that in there, but when I was done, it was definitely worth it. Let's take a look at how well this works. So just slide this in your NES. Make sure the uh, label is facing down, like the front label. And then turn on your TV, turn on the NES, and there you go. Playing some Nintendo Famicom games on your American NES. Yeah, I'm playing a pretty awesome game right now. So I'd recommend this to anybody. And it's going to take me a while to do a review on it, though, just saying.